Hi, my name is Nick, and this video is showing some of the details of the retainer ring for the Enable RIT 3D printed prosthetic arm. This particular part's built in SolidWorks 2013 and uses dimensions driven by uh, scales inside of an equation. Um, and basically what that means is in the feature tree there is uh, a feature called equations if you right click and select manage equations you'll see here that uh, global variables listed are scale and three-quarter inch pipe and half inch pipe what the scale pertains to is making the part larger or smaller uh, by a factor of uh, basically a percentage um, the pipe references are to this bore on the ID here uh, this is not driven by the scale as well as the bolt holes are not driven by the scale they do move in and out with the scaling but the diameters don't change in the case of uh, this particular part if you want to uh, scale it you just do exactly like I just showed you here you click manage equations you come in here let's say for example you want to make this uh, scaled by 0.9 so you just change that number hit enter and then select OK and the part reduces itself to 9 tenths of original scale as you can see everything looks good here um, one of the reasons that I've put in two different pipe diameters in the equation driven thing is that once you try to scale this below a 0.85 scale things get a little bit funny and I'll show you what we're doing here come in 0.82 hit enter hit OK and what happens is the bolt holes move in so close to this edge that they probably won't print very well um, so what we do in that case if you're gonna go below that you'd actually go up into the body feature open up the sketch and this dimension has to do with the pipe diameter so you just double click on that click on that and you'll see that it says three quarter inch pipe just highlight that backspace look on your global variables and you'll go to a half inch pipe select that hit enter and accept the change and accept the sketch. Now you see that we have plenty of cross-section th thickness here and this should print perfectly fine. And in checking it out, uh, originally this bore diameter was 1 inch 0.075 or inch 070, I'm sorry. And you see that now that we change that dimension it goes to 0.860 which is 20 thou bigger than a standard piece of half inch PVC plastic. So for now, that's pretty much all that you'll need to know. If you do have any other questions, you can reach me by email at nick at proto3dprinting.com. You can visit my website, proto3dprinting.com, for more information about what I do. Thank you.